Hi guys, in this video we are going to share 5 cases of top clubs signing players not with the help of the scouting department, but simply because the following footballers humiliated their future team so much it was impossible to resist the transfer, as the decision laid right in front of the boss's noses. With all that in mind, let's get started. <laughs> Mohamed Salah is by far one of the best players on the planet at the moment, though the Egyptian could never have reached the high level if not for two special performances. Back in 2013, Salah represented Swiss Basel without showing anything outstanding there, but in the Autumn Champions League group stage clashes against Chelsea, Mo has managed to shock absolutely everyone. During the away match, Salah scored a goal and helped Basel grasp a sensational 2-1 victory, and in the home game, he had done his best at mocking stellar opponents. Pensioners, defenders and goalkeeper Petr Cez suffered especially hard from his actions. Mohamed netted a goal, struck three shots on target, made three key passes and completed two dribbling attempts. Consequently, Basel received another win, but with a score of 1-0. After mentioned appearances, the Chelsea management decided to sign Salah during the winter transfer window, so on January 2014, Mo already poses with a London club jersey. However, the Egyptian had not yet matured enough for English football, and therefore his spell at Stamford Bridge did not work out as it seemed. Chelsea first sent Salah on loan to Fiorentina and sold to Roma afterwards. Interestingly enough, the striker shown in the camp of the Wolves. Returning to the Raiders of the top clubs, Liverpool were reportedly eyeing his progress. In 2016, the Reds and the Romans had a friendly tie throughout which Mohamed scored the winner against Jurgen Klopp's lads. The Reds closely monitored him for another year and in the summer of 2017 bought Salah for 42 million euros. Then, you know the rest, the deal turned out to be one of the best decisions in Liverpool's history. <music> Who said that such random purchases of a big teams have always had successful outcomes? 2016, the year when Atletico Madrid made the same mistake as Chelsea. In the Champions League group stage of the 2015-16 season, the Indians hosted Benfica at home and experienced all skills of midfielder Nicolas Gaetan. Firstly, the Eagles' performer equalized the score and after that he delivered an assist for the decisive goal. Benfica triumphed 2-1 and Atletico immediately included Gaetan in their transfer shortlist. When the season came to its finish and it was time for summer boost, Los Colchoneros agreed to purchase Gaetan for 25 million euros, but did not foresee what happened next. Throughout his two-year spell in Madrid, Nicolas provided only four goals and five assists in 49 appearances. Thus, the move quickly turned into a flop. In 2018, Atletico got rid of Gaetan by selling him to China. And here we have it, another proof that one good performance of a particular footballer does not guarantee his transition to be a win-win occasion. In terms of efficiency, Bernardo Silva makes a much better case. 2016-17 campaign, Champions League round of 16, almighty Manchester City faced Monaco and sensationally got knocked out by the result of two laps. The head coach of the citizens, Pep Guardiola, did not carefully research the little-known opponents, though he already realized how great Silva is. During those two games, Bernardo demonstrated amazing numbers. An assist, 10 dribbling attempts, 4 interceptions, 3 tackles and 3 key passes. Pep, along with the Sky Blues bosses, realized that they badly needed the Portuguese for any amount of money. Thus, in the summer of 2017, Bernardo joined them for 50 million euros. One must notice that Guardiola did not do wrong with such a bolstering. The purchase of Silva is one of the greatest Man City deals since the Sheikh's arrival. At times of his career at Liverpool, one of the favorite victims of striker Fernando Torres were Chelsea. 
for three and a half years in England, the Spanish slotted seven goals in eight appearances versus the Blues. And the streak began right in El Nino's first season in the Premier League and from his first meeting with the Pensioners in a 2007-08 campaign. Torres loved to make Londoners' life in the Premier League and the Champions League a nightmare. Therefore, Chelsea owner Roman Abramovich was determined that these acts of bullying had to be stopped. Fernando left Liverpool later in January 2011, strengthening the Blues for 50 million euros. Moreover, this was the Premier League record of that time for the cost of an internal transfer. In general, the departure of Torres to Chelsea is also being considered a huge flop. But in fact, the striker had far from the worst results in the camp of the Londoners. 172 appearances, 45 goals and 35 assists, as well as triumphs in the Champions League, Europa League and FA Cup. Undoubtedly, given the amount of the agreement, Chelsea expected much more from Fernando. But still, it was more of a good decision than not. Let's be honest, top clubs are fond of spontaneous striker signings, but what about defenders? There are much fewer examples to find, but the case of Matthijs de Ligt clearly deserves a spot. At the age of 19, the Dutchman won the 2018 Golden Boy Award and was named Young Player of the Year thanks to his excellent talent shown at Ajax. However, this was not enough to immediately earn the promotion. European football giants may already have heard of De Ligt, but were totally not rushing to make bets. And yet, after a couple of months, the representatives of Juventus fell in love with Matthijs. While battling Ajax in the quarterfinals, the team from Turin could not have imagined that De Ligt would put up such a heroic display to them and lead his defensive partners that successfully. Judging by stats after both legs played, the Amsterdam captain made 13 clearances and won 8 aerial tackles and never allowed anyone to pass him with dribbling. Even Cristiano Ronaldo could not do anything with this youngster. Most importantly, with equality on the scoreboard in his second leg, on top of all the pleasing numbers, it was De Ligt who broke the hearts of U.S. supporters with his accurate shot, which brought Ajax a ticket to the semi-finals. The black and whites were so overwhelmed by Matthijs that they wanted to pull off a quick purchase, even though they usually don't do such things. In the summer of the same year, Juventus took De Ligt from Ajax for 85 million euros, registering the most expensive transfer of a defender in the history of football. It's still difficult to assess whether this agreement is successful or not. Sometimes journalists and Juventus fans harshly criticize Matthijs, and on another day, they praise him. Nevertheless, De Ligt has been playing for the old lady for quite a while, which means they are rather satisfied with the guy. Well, even if he does not manage to make himself more noticeable in Italy, then just recall that the Dutchman turns 23 years old in August, and this is totally not the age when one should give up on perfect opportunities. Matthijs still has a long way to go. Friends, what do you think about impulsive transfer deals? Consider them a total risk or some sort of all-in policy. What suits better for a big clubs? Let us know in the comments below. And at the same time, write if you enjoyed the list and if we should do the second part. The top football channel was with you. Thanks everyone for watching. Bye-bye.